What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. So, as y'all can tell by the title, today we're gonna make champurado. So, I fucking love champurado, and I haven't had it in a minute, and today is fucking 21 degrees outside so yes bitch perfect time for champurado i also wanted to make um arroz con leche but uh, i have another video idea that i want to make so i just came from the store and i'm not gonna go back i don't plan on going back so hopefully tomorrow i'll just grab more evaporated milk and sweetened this milk we'll make that in a whole different video i'm gonna just show you the ingredients y'all need for champurado in case y'all uh probably in case y'all don't know now don't come at me everybody makes theirs different so I'm showing y'all how I'm doing it, okay? Um, so right now I have, I'm eyeballing everything too, by the way, I'm not measuring shit. For one, I don't have measuring cups, and I do pretty good at eyeballing, so. I have some water, not boiling, but just heating up. Um, then I have some evaporated milk, we have some whole cloves, we have a piloncillo, piloncillo, piloncillo. I'm not trying it again. Uh, cinnamon sticks, yes bitch. I was gonna buy the bag, but they didn't have any more, so. Vanilla extract, some an abuelita tablet, and some aseca. We're doing half of it. Oh, then you're gonna need a half gallon of milk, so we're doing half of everything. All right, this is the closest you're gonna get to the stove. So let's go ahead and we're gonna add two. Why the fuck did they do it like this though? You can't get cinnamon sticks out of there. We're gonna add two cinnamon sticks. We're only gonna add five whole cloves. We're gonna add the whole um, pilon seal. Bitch, don't come for me. We're just gonna leave this on the stove until all of it, you know, melts and gets all incorporated together. So for right now, we have this pan right here, and we're gonna start like toasting the maseca just a little bit. I'm just gonna eyeball, eyeball this. We're just gonna toast it for a little bit. I don't have any wooden spoons, sadly. So, fucking time. I gotta turn the air vent on. Um, so if I have to do a voiceover, it's because it's too loud, because I know the air vent can get annoying. So I'm gonna just let this toast a little bit and I'll come back once the mixture over there is or dissolved. I would say that my set is pretty good toasted. So now I'm gonna transfer the maseca into a container um, to let it cool off a little bit. And while we wait on the mixture that we created over here with the filoncillo, abuelita, uh, cinnamon sticks, and the whole coat. Once that is melted, then I'll come back to y'all. Okay, so the maseca is done. So we're just gonna set it aside and wait for this to finish um, melting. I forgot the vanilla extract, so I'm just gonna eyeball this. And now we're just gonna wait till um, all that dissolves. I honestly wish y'all could smell it in here. It smells so fucking good. But right now I'm just gonna, you know, while we're waiting on that stuff over there to uh, finish melting, we're just gonna mix in some water almost till this mixture is like pancake mix so i'm just gonna keep mixing and then i'll get back with y'all when the consistency is how it's supposed to look trust the process looks like i fucked it up but i didn't okay i kind of wanted to show y'all y'all see like there's like clumps you want it to be this you know consistency but there's fucking clumps in there so because i don't have a fucking whisk i may have to transfer from using this damn spoon to a fork um, but you don't want the clumps in there, so try to, you know, get rid of it as much as possible. I also don't have a strainer, you know, like, my dumb ass. Uh, I was just so excited to make champurada. I didn't make sure I had everything. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of the clump. What we have on the stove over there is almost finished. So, I'll just come back in a second. So, it's all, you know, melted and stuff. So, we're just gonna... So, if you have a strainer... This will be so much more convenient, but I'm gonna take out the fucking cinnamon sticks. And there's there's one um, whole clove in there. I got four more left to find. 
But normally you strain it, you know, make it a lot easier to take the cinnamon sticks and whole cloves out. So let me just do that really quickly and then we'll continue with the process. But I got all the cloves out there. So right now I have it on medium low. And we're going to add a can of evaporated milk. My dumb ass. Why is it the first time I'm making this video? I'm fucking up. And you would add, since we're doing half, so I'm gonna do half of a half gallon. Y'all, I almost fucking put eggnog in this shit. I would have been, I would have fucked up for real. Now it's time for a bigger pot. Okay, now you wanna slowly add in your um, maseca mix, constantly stirring to avoid any clumps. If I had a whisk, bitch, this would be so much better because look at them damn clumps coming on already. I'm going to transfer from this fucking spoon to a fork. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. But just keep doing this and then I'll get back to y'all once it's at the consistency that I want it. Alright, really hope I don't fuck up. I'm gonna grab some of this mixture, pour it in here. I'm being hella messy, but I'm, I'm gonna clean it up. And then the maseca that was left in here, I'm just gonna whisk it up and then pour it in the mixture. And I'm gonna do the same with the rest of the maseca that I have in that small container over there. What? You make it hotter? Yeah. Mm. So you like it? Okay, give it to me. It's mine. Oh, I'll eat that with my finger. 